If you don't stop that, Cheech, I don't like your hair like that. I love it like that. I don't, and it's on my nerve, <laughs> and I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, as Macy Bell would say. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Coming to you from 125 Carver in Waco, Texas, it's the Riverside Weekly. We hope your time with us today is thought-provoking, spiritually challenging, and a life-changing experience. Our discussions are fun, real, and at times very uncomfortable. We highly encourage all of our guests and listeners to like and subscribe, and please ring the bell. Now, here are your hosts, Pastor Cello and Pastor Mia. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the podcast. It's Wednesday. It is Wednesday, Wednesday morning. Um, Fran, I'm sorry. I don't have my watch on. I don't have my ring on. I don't have no jewelry on. I don't have no earrings on. Um, hope you forgive me. It's super early, super late, so... It's actually Maddie's birthday. Happy and birthday! Happy birthday and Destiny. What's up? <laughs> meh, meh, meh. Meh, meh, meh. Destiny, what's up? Shout out. Shout birthday. out. Birthday. Birthday. Maddie. And Maddie. it's not that we don't know your birthday. It's just that it's our daughter's birthday. And Destiny just happens to share that birthday with our daughter. <laughs> Two lovely ladies. <laughs> what? Nothing. I'm just laughing. Why? She's just happy as a serpent. What? I'm not saying that we don't know everybody's birthday. We it's don't. Just, that's what I'm... Well, you might. I don't know everybody's <laughs> birthday. I'm just saying that they share a birthday. Happy yeah, birthday know. to and both. And we know them both. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So if you want us to recognize your birthday, send us an email. Send me an email. Yeah, you won't email. remember. Comment. Let us know when your birthday is yes. and we'll give you a shout out. Yes. And shout we might out. even send you something. Maybe. Anyway. Okay. I meant we might. All right. Okay. Anyway, welcome back to the podcast. What's up, guys? It's a brand new year, guys. Meh, meh, meh. Season five going Season in. Season five, and I wore a special shirt because it's new shirt show? Wednesday. Is this a strip shirt? No. <laughs> oh, it's now, covered. Let me, let me pick on you now. Okay, pick on me. Pick on me. This is because it's too cold, and I couldn't just wear the <laughs> shirt by itself. It's cold out here, y'all. It's butt cold. Anyway, welcome to 2022. Wait, 2020. 2020 round two. 2022. It's 2020. 20, 20. It's 20, 20 round two. Okay. And some people are probably going, no, don't see that. That's a bad confession. We don't need that. We don't want it to happen all over again. Neither do I. So let's fix it while let's we're at it, it, right? Um, anyway, I am going to call this episode because... I'm going to be stirring up the pot, y'all. Oh, here we go. That's what this is all about. It's about controversial. We've said that from the beginning, that we are controversial. You put your shirt back on. <laughs> it's cold. It's cold, brother. I'm freezing. I'm just I mean, red. I could have taken my earrings off, and we could have had a, you know, a round two boxing match, but I didn't want to do that. I'm too cold. Okay. Anyway, so back to stirring up the pot. All right. Welcome we back to 2022. <laughs> 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 What's up? What are we talking about? We're. I just said oh, stirring literally the pot stirring up the, the pot. pot. Stir, what are we stirring? My spiritual father used to do that. You know, he used to say, "What you, stir yourself up," but I'm not here to stir myself up, and I'm not here to stir you up either. I'm here to stir up some drama for your mama. That's what 2022 is about. No, I'm just kidding. I just actually, I'm, I must be hype. This coffee, coffee is got you legit. Something else. Man, this is Colombian. Thanks, Randall. Um, but <laughs> uh, I will I say, here. I know. I'm like, what I had to adjust you? myself. Anyway. Um, so last episode that y'all saw us in 2021, the episode for the year is that was really controversial. And I think people folks. were like, what were they doing? You guys, he won the podcast of the year fair and square. We didn't win and that was okay. And I think it was cool to have him on. Oh, I loved having him on. That's what great. I'm saying. Jesus, Jesus ate with the sinners and he ate with the, the, all the other bad people, the tax so collectors. No, I'm saying <laughs> that he was the winner. I know. He was the winner. He was the winner, not the sinner. There you go. <laughs> and so because he was the winner, we decided to have him on our show. And that was cool. That's I'm cool. so glad that he came to join us and we got to know him. And, um, you know, and 
That, that's made people feel uncomfortable. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. And that's what I do. That's right. <laughs> High five to us for making people feel uncomfortable. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Look at it. Stirring it up. Stirring it up. Let me stir up the drama. So I thought it was cool to have him on the show. And if everybody was like, what just happened? Uh, why would they have the winner on the show? Chicken, chicken. What is it? Chi winner, winner, chicken dinner. You know what our daughter says? Two Listen. Huh? Two piece in a pepper. There you go. <laughs> I mean, he won fair and square, so we we had to have him on here. We had to show you guys that we like stirring up the drama. And I'm just kidding. Not really. But we do like doing things outside the box and being controversial. And what better way to do that than to say, we congratulate you on our show. Come over here. Right? Yep. And that's why we did it. And I thought it was the coolest. And high five to us for stirring up the pot. So that's what I've been talking about. It's controversial today. It's very controversial. And I think that some of the things going into 2022 for us is just what I said. 2020, round two. But this time the earrings come off and the gloves come out. <laughs> now we finna, we finna go down and take these people out, you take know? Take these people out. Right. What people? <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. That, that's what I was about We've to say. come for the lost and your daughter, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't for your daughter, Chuck. Yeah, I mean, not for your daughter. I don't, but know, I don't know if anybody knows that movie. But. Uh, I'm sure there are some people that know that movie. And if you don't know that, if you know that movie, then you're going, wow, they really are controversial. Oh, no, it's not a bad and movie. Those of you, it's a fun movie. It is, but, you know, we couldn't be around skeletons and things like that. And, Beetlejuice. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You know, Beetlejuice. Don't say that three times. You know. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. You know, okay. I'm just saying. People are like, no, nah, don't say that. <laughs> anyway, and that's how we're controversial. We like to do things outside the box. And so this year coming in 2022, um, we are going to set a precedence for doing some things differently and um, inviting some people in and just really... Uh, not pressing the envelope, but doing some things different. <laughs> what, you know, yes, sharing the gospel is the thing to do. That's what all <laughs> Christians should do. And every person who loves God should be doing that, right? We're supposed to love, what did you say? The two commandments. We're supposed to love ourselves and love one another. One another. And if you can't do those two things, then are you really following God? Really? Are you? <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying. So this year, I think that we should all take a look at yourself. Take a look at yourself. Um, but take a look at ourselves and say, are we really pressing um, to the limit? Are we pressing ourselves to the limit? Are we really controversial in the way we do things in life? You know, are people really looking at us? Are we just living some hum? Hum, hold, what's it called? Uh, humdrum. Humdrum lives and not doing anything and not reaching anyone at all. Right? Yeah. That's it. Thank you guys for joining us. We'll get back with you next week. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the little uh, rant. Listen, listen. Your shirt is controversial, so I'm not the only one. Hey, being my shirt's not controversial. Yes, it is. A DeLorean with TPs? Come on yeah, now. Yeah, that's this is time travel, baby. Okay, is that not controversial? No way. Yes, yes, it Everybody is. Everybody loves time travel. Mm, mm, I don't know. I don't know. Some would say that that's witchcraft, and that's not of yeah, God. No. I'm just saying. I'm. I'm just saying. It's in the Bible. Yes, but some people don't believe like you That's believe okay. or they don't read things like you do. You know, kind of mm. like your hair. Your hair mm. reminds me of your father. And your father was one of the most controversial people of all of Waco. Uh, he wasn't really controversial. He, must, he just didn't put up with a lot of crap. That's controversial. <laughs> uh, uh, we can look up the word controversial and it would say Sonny Lozano. <laughs> so, Maybe. I, mean, I have a picture of him. I, I think no. it would. I think it would. And I would say that um, us having um, the winner of the podcast of the year on here helped us to be able to see that the, we're not normal. We're we're very outside and we're very, we, we like to do things differently here. Yeah, I think, well. Tell me. It's so much, wasn't so much having him on. Um, uh, having Andrew on as much as it, it was um, exposing for me, exposing a lot of what we do behind the scenes. Yeah. Um, conversations that we have, um, relationships that we engage in. Um, we, we don't hold like a, um, what do you call it? I don't know. 
we don't we don't hold a uh, a a mask up or a visor up. No. Um, but most people that know us that know us very well, people that are close to us, um, they know we pretty much talk to anybody, everybody. Mm -hmm. um, but there's a lot of people that are in YouTube land, a lot of people that are on social media that don't really know who we are. Who we are. They don't really know what we're about, how we do things. And I think that's probably the most controversial part is because people get shocked at how we do things, what we do, mm -hmm. when we do them, mm -hmm. you know, stuff like that. And so I think just how we engage people outside the camera, outside of social media, how we engage people at the church, how we engage people um, just in general, mm -hmm. I think is, um, you know, you, you say controversial, I think it's frowned upon people. It just makes people feel uncomfortable. Well, what let me, let what me, makes well, people let me say, feel let me say, uncomfortable? Well, let me say, let me say this. Say it out loud. It's not that it makes, well, it does make them feel uncomfortable, but it's frowned upon because people don't like um, uncomfortability. They don't like to be uncomfortable. They don't, they don't like confrontation. They don't like um, what you said, controversy. They don't like these types of things. Um, you know, I had a had a conversation with a with a pastor um, uh, several years back. You know, and we were talking about um, wanting to be able to reach um, the homosexual community. We were talking about wanting to um, engage uh, that perspective or that lifestyle. You know, and we had this. We were I was engaged in this conversation with this pastor, and it was very interesting because. Um, he was asking me my thoughts and I basically shared, I said, well, the only way that I feel like you can effectively engage, um, that community and engage, uh, the, that, well, that community, that culture is to invite them to be involved in what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And he didn't like that. He thought, you know, he, he, he felt like, well, we have to go and preach to them, not have a relationship with them. We have to share the gospel, not get to know them as individuals. And that's where we kind of disagree. And I'm like, well, how, you can't really share the gospel if you don't have relationship with mm -hmm. somebody, you know? And, and I think a lot of times that's what we do as a church. We, we disengage from the people that we're trying to reach um, because we don't want to engage with them. And we love, the thing that I think that, that's most controversial for me within the church is pastors a lot of times, believers, they'll say, well, you know, you gotta, you gotta, um, Reach people where they're at and go do what they're doing and, you know, you know, go and see where they're where they're at and and uh, minister to them, you know. And but how often do you see that? Like you, you, don't, you don't really very see that. Rarely, very often. Yeah. Most of us won't go to birthday parties because they're serving beer and they got a keg. Uh, you, know? you shop at H-E-B. You, know? you know, so. Same thing. Um, so when, you, when you're talking about engaging um, individuals that believe different than you, when you talk about engaging individuals um, that don't have the same culture that you have when it comes to Christianity or church culture, it gets very, very, um, uh, I'm not trying, I'm trying to think of a word. It, it, it gets difficult because you're trying to navigate on what you look like or what church people think or what pastors are going to think. And myself, you know, I shared with my congregation, um, last year, actually, no, I'm <laughs> a couple of, a couple of, a couple of weeks back, I what shared with my months. congregation, you know, one of the toughest things that I struggled with as a pastor is doing what I felt like doing what I feel like I need to do to reach people. Um, but it's not way, it's not the traditional way that we have done church. It's not the traditional outreaches, you know, I, um, now I'm, now I'm really going to get real controversial and somebody's going to get their feeling hurt. So okay. I love you because I have pastors and I have friends, <laughs> I have pastors and friends that do these things within their churching, within their ministries. But I just, for me, I, I struggle with it. It's, mm -hmm. and it's, it's me. I struggle with it, you know, but I struggle with, with doing food programs. I, I struggle with, with doing fundraisers. I struggle with, um, I love giving, how you're using giving, the word struggle. Um, with, well, it's the truth. I struggle with it. You know, I, you know, because you used to say last year, you said, I don't like, I don't like it, <laughs> but I, I love how you've changed your words. I still to, I don't, struggle. Like, I still don't like it. Okay. You know, I struggle with, with having events and, and feeding people and, you know, and doing food programs and, and helping the homeless and everybody's going, man, those are all the things that you're supposed to do in the gospel. I, you are, but we live in a society today where when the church does a food program, are we really feeding those that are hungry? Or are we feeding those are we feeding those that are hungry or in need, or are we just feeding those people that um, have the ability to get to where we're at? Right. So, like, yeah. you know, um, 
I mean, because we've we've done we've tr- in our community we've tried to give food a truckload of food we try to give away and nobody in the community wanted it. Mm-hmm. Nobody's like, man, don't get their 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 statement was go give it to somebody who really needs it. Yeah, you know, and a lot of times the people that don't really need it are the ones that are lining up to get it. Yeah, and that's controversial. People don't want to talk about that. Yeah. We'll say it behind closed doors, but we won't say it. You know, and and it's it's tough because um, I think that we're supposed to to take care of the widows. I think we're supposed to take care of the orphans. I think we're supposed to take care of the homeless and the the sick and the needy. Like, I agree with that, but we live in a culture and a society today where we we create a dependence upon that. So people won't get a job because they know the church is going to feed them. Mm-hmm. They won't, they won't... Um, or Caritas. Yeah, they... Caritas, Caritas church. It does, what, you can go what, get in line at 7... 45, 715. Now everybody's going to start showing up over there. Uh, hey, let them. Let them. I'm, I'm blown away by the cars that are out in front of no, there. Well, that's my point. Is, is that I'm just saying. Because I don't have a car like that. Because you're doing a food program doesn't, mess, doesn't necessarily mean that the people that are coming to get food actually need the food. The people that actually need it, some of them... Barely had enough gas to make it to get the food. Yeah, no, and I'm not saying. Or they needed to yeah, get but a I'm ride. just. I'm my point that I'm trying to, to to make is that I look at ministry a little bit different than I did 10, 15 years ago. Okay. Um, and because of that, it's I struggle with doing ministry um, openly, and I say openly, but 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 just my thought process of of how to do it. Like, you know, I'm I. I'm not real big on on giving out hot dogs and and giving out burgers and giving out food, you know, feeding people. I don't have a problem feeding people, but I'm not going to broadcast that we're having free hot dogs. Um, There was one time that I believed in, like, hey, let everybody know we're going to feed everybody hot dogs and and we're going to give out burgers and we're going to give out sandwiches. And, you know, like, I don't I don't have a problem with doing that. I just don't feel like a lot of times that we do that, that we're effective in it. Have you ever noticed that everybody that's giving away free food, it's always hot dogs? It's because hot dogs are cheap. That's my like, that's my hmm. point. I guess that's my point, right? Like we're supposed to be the church that God supplies all Why the didn't needs. You give them away steaks. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I was gonna say. And you I know, know that when we have given away food, you're like, it has to be name brand. It has to be the top top shelf, man. Like yeah. you have to give the best stuff away. And we don't do that as a church. Hmm. You know, we 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 find the cheapest, the most inexpensive thing that we can find to give to people. And so when they see this is the God that we serve, a cheap God. This is the God that we that we are, um, Ooh, you representing. You are stirring it up, bro. You know, and I, and I struggle with that. And so for me, if I can't give steaks, I'm not giving anything. <laughs> if we and I, and and the people well, that know me, excuse well, me. <laughs> I mean, and it sounds crazy, but we and, and, and I'm not bragging. I'm not I'm not boasting or anything. But we serve breakfast every Sunday, and our breakfast is good. Like we serve breakfast, but we're not. We're not out broadcasting and telling everybody that we're giving out breakfast unless you know somebody that comes to church here or is inviting you, hey, come get breakfast. And when they show up, you're like, oh, I thought I was going to get donuts. Y'all got tacos breakfast. and burritos and, you know. And so um, if we can't do, if we cannot do our very, very best, should we be doing it? I don't know. Okay. That's just my thought. Okay, okay. We'll but, I do, but, I, but I do understand that you can't always do the best all the time, but I think... I think that we should do affordable excellence. I think that you should be, do the very best with what you can afford. And a lot of times as churches and as ministries, we don't do that. We do the very least with the very least that we have, mm-hmm. you know, and we, we and it, it just, it, it sends a mixed message to me, mm. Mm. to me. It just sends a mixed message of, of, of who God is, who Christ is. God supplies our need, all, supplies all of our needs according to his riches in Christ, in, in all of his riches in Christ Jesus, except for... <laughs> the ability to buy brand name chips. Name brand. Name brand name chips. Brand. What did I say? A brand name. Brand name. It's fine. It's brand fine. name. Name brand. Get off the soft. Get off the soapbox. No, you're the one that stirred the pot. So. Oh, oh, I know. Oh, I know. I'm just, I I'm knew just what saying, I was doing. You know, so, so when you when you engage people from different cultures, it gets it, it can get costly. It can tax. It can be taxing to relationships. It can be taxing on perception because, um, you know. We're doing things different, you know. I, I love, I love Pastor Juan. You know, he he has the pastor pop church. The pastor over uh, at his house. That's different. That's a different man. I love the fact that he's he's doing ministry completely different. Mm-hmm. You know, it looks different. It sounds different. The way they do things is different. It's not your typical church. Mm-hmm. Um, I love that. And for me, um, I'm 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 doing the same thing, but 
I, th- I think it's 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 I struggle with it because I and this sounds bad. I'm a, I'll finish with this, but it's, I've, I've already said this to my congregation Y'all, and my leaders. I knew what button what button to push. I've already said this to my congregation, and my leaders. I struggle with it because I know that pastors are watching this podcast, even though they're not subscribed. So I know pastors are watching my you are watching our YouTube channel and watching my messages, even though they're not subscribed. So I know I know cheaters. I don't like and subscribe. No, Jeez. I know some of the things I I don't say some things mm-hmm. because I know that people are watching. Mm-hmm. And to be really honest with you, people people like people say this all the time. I don't care what people think. Yes, you do, because I do. And I'm the one person that don't really care what people think, but I still care what they think because right. I value relationships. And so it gets tough. And, and so from that, from that perspective, um, I'm trying to stretch out and do things a little bit different in, in this, this season five. I'm trying to stretch out and do a little bit th- different things different in, in, in our, uh, you know, our fifth year of, of the church. And, and I'm, I'm doing some things different. You know, I, we used to our, really, you're not going to dunk in water no more. I don't know. We're going to find out. We might do squirt guns. So our first, our nine o'clock service, there's a running joke in our nine o'clock service that that's the uncut version. <laughs> really? It like, is. Like uh, the nine is, o'clock yeah. is the uncut version yeah. of the, the we message. We can't edit that. Right. The message that comes at 11. So if you want uncut, <laughs> you got to come at nine o'clock and then you get the, you get the refined version at 11, <laughs> you know? Um, and the reason, if, the reason that's an on running ongoing joke is because we don't stream yeah. or record at, at nine o'clock. Yeah. We record and stream at 11, yeah. you know? And so those are some things that I'm struggling with. And so um, when you talk about being controversial, it is difficult, you know, um, doing the series right now, you know, that we're doing, you know, going first, like somebody's got to go first. That's when, what I'm saying. When you go first, it costs you. Yes. It costs. And that's why I'm saying that that's, let's end with that because that's exactly the whole podcast. You just summed it up right there. You're like the matrix, bro. <laughs> so sorry, spoiler alert. Um, but that's, that's exactly what I'm saying is that we went first. We said we didn't win podcast of the year. So we're going to bring him in and, Talk about him and get to know him and let our viewers know him. And we even said that some of some of we probably lost some followers <laughs> and, and, and that's OK. We were first, though, to say. We're OK with that. Yeah, you're not watching us no more because you're probably going to miss our jokes and you're probably going to miss <laughs> our fun shirts, our new shirt Wednesday. But I'm just saying that, you know, we had to go first and do something to show the people and the viewers that. We're not normal. We're out there. We're doing some things first. Yeah. And we're going to step on some toes. We're going to stir the pot. We're going to be outside and, and be controversial. And, but, and it's not, I think, I think the key is, is it's not just to be controversial. No, no, it's no, no, not no. Just, just for that. Not just to stir the pot. We're going to stretch you. It, it, the idea is to do, really, to do what Jesus did. We always say, you know, Jesus hung out with the sinners, but, but I don't see but, you. But nobody no. hangs out with sinners. Yeah. Jesus hung out with the drunks and the, all these and the prostitutes. prostitutes but I don't, don't see, see you nobody. hanging out with no prostitutes. prostitutes. <laughs> you know, and so uh, uh, there was, I'll, I'll, I'll say this last thought. Okay. You can tell how saved your church is mm-hmm. and how church culture your church is when you can leave your cell phone, your purse, your wallet, all the things that are valuable to you on the front row or in your seat and go to the restroom and get you some coffee and come back and not worry that it's not going to be there. Yeah, yeah. But when your church is not that saved, when it's not that churchy, when it's not that church culture, then are you really going to leave your purse, your cell phone, and your valuable things in the cheat, and in the seat while you walk away? Think about it. Unless somebody, you got somebody watching it. Like when you go to a stadium, you're not just going to leave your cell phone yeah. there. I'll be right back, save my seat. Mm. <laughs> no, you're going to. I don't know about it that. It ain't going to happen, right? Yeah. And so, you know, that, that was just, I uh, heard a minister say that one time. You know, you can tell how how outreach driven or how um, mission minded a church is um, by the level of the security that people feel <laughs> with their things in the in the church. Right. You I'm, know. I don't know. I mean, I leave all my stuff on the front row and forgot about it. <laughs> then I'm like, oh, man, where are my keys? Oh, man, where's my phone? Yeah, I thought you were going to say, you know how churchy a church is if you leave your phone at home and you ain't worried about it. You know, <laughs> My phone's streaming live 
at home. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. Anyway. I don't, I don't even know what I said. I don't either, but it was great. And <laughs> the people were like clapping and cheering. And you don't know what you said. And that's because I stirred the pot to get him to the point where you were speaking truth. And that's what they're here for. They want to hear, they want to hear what we have to say. And that's what I'm trying to give you in 2022. We're not going to do a round two of 2020. We're going to come at you with something different and we're going to hope to anyway. Yeah. Hope to, <laughs> we really don't want to be the same for you. We want to be different. We w we should all be growing and um, absolutely. We should all be not just growing in our faith, but in our, uh, and not just in our actions either, but we should also should be growing in our thinking and thinking outside the box and, out, and doing things that we've not done. Again, I say it again, the methods can be different. The, the word is always the same. It's, it's never going to change. It's the method we're looking at. And if that, if, that, if that causes us to be Riverside, don't go there. They stir the pot. Well, then... Come here if you want, because we're going to stir the pot. And listen to us on the podcast and share us with your friends, because... I think that's why people don't share. Really? <laughs> really? I ain't posted this. I, ain't nah. got, I don't want people to My know I'm listening to be like, to nah, girl. Nah, don't post that. All right. Anyway, thank you for joining us. We are so glad that you came back for 2022, around 2020, round two. Round um, but we're going to do this a little differently. We'll see. Um, I, I got some topics on the on the outskirts and some guests that I want to bring in. And, you know, we had people through the, the, the Christmas break. We're like, how do I get on the podcast? Well, just got to ask. Come on. <laughs> but then you hear them go, I don't know. I don't, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're going to lose some Facebook followers <laughs> if you come on this podcast. Anyway, thanks for listening. Thanks for joining us. And thanks for letting us stir your pot. <laughs> Get to it, 2022. Here we go. Round two. Ding, All right, ding. guys. We'll holler at you guys later. We'll see you next week. Take it Thank easy. Thank you for listening to the Riverside Weekly. Download the Riverside Waco app to stay connected and follow us on all social media sites at the Riverside Waco. This podcast is made possible by the givers of Riverside Community Church. Production and engineer provided by Capital G and RTV in Waco, Texas.